Assalamu alaikum, I hope you're all doing great today. In this video, I will read to you one of the statements of the awaited Imam Mahdi Nasr Muhammad al Yemeni that he wrote on the 27th of February 2021, titled Response from the Book The Quran to Those Who Invent That I Am Being Taught by Others. May the peace and mercy of Allah be upon you, my brother, the inquirer. I say that you and the people of your like unjustly doubt and say that I am being taught by others. Hence, I hold the arguments against you with truth and say, first, is what you see in the clarifications of the Imam Mahdi true or falsehood? If the answer is indeed your statement is the truth and it guides to the straight path of Nasr Muhammad al-Yamani, then I hold the arguments against you with truth by the word of Allah the Exalted. These are the verses of Allah which we recite to you in truth. Then in what statement after Allah and his verses will they believe? Chapter 45 verse 6 And if they say indeed you are being taught by others, and they dictate you the clarifications you write, at break of day and full of night, then you recite them through writing the statements. Hence I hold the argument against them from the book of Allah that this is an utterance of people who do not reason. In line with the word of Allah the exalted, and those who disbelieve say this Qur'an is not except a falsehood he invented, and another people assisted him in it. But they have committed an injustice and a lie. And they say, these revelations are only ancient fables, which he has had written down, and they are rehearsed to him morning and evening. Say, O Prophet, this Qur'an has been revealed by the one who knows the secrets of the heavens and the earth. Surely he is all-forgiving, most merciful. Chapter 25, verses 4 to 6. Surely this is the news of those who spread rumors in the era of the Imam Mahdi Nasir Muhammad al-Yamani, as he writes the statements while Muhammad, the Messenger of Allah, prayers of forgiveness and peace be upon him and his family, was illiterate and could not read or write, in line with the word of Allah the Exalted, you, O Prophet, could not read any writing even before this revelation, nor could you write at all. Otherwise, the people of falsehood would have been suspicious. But this Quran is a set of clear verses preserved in the hearts of those gifted with knowledge. And none denies our verses except the stubborn wrongdoers. Chapter 29 Verse 48-49 Second, as for the utterance of those who spread rumors and doubts, so that you do not believe the caller of truth from your Lord until you listen to my voice and look at my picture. Hence I hold the argument against you with truth and say, No one will be guided in the call of guidance once they see a picture and listen to a sound. As guidance is not accomplished through listening to my voice, but Allah means those who spread rumors and turn people away from following the clear verses of their Lord in the Quran. O oh, my beloved, in the love of Allah, be among the thankful ones, as guidance is not in listening to my voice or looking at my picture. But the argument is within the power of my knowledge. Is it a truth that is comprehensible through mind and reason? In guidance from Allah is not in listening to my voice or looking at my picture, but in reflecting upon the power of my knowledge in line with the word of Allah the Exalted. Some of them listen to what you say, but can you make the deaf hear even though they do not understand? And among them are those who look at you, but can you guide the blind although they will not attempt to see? Chapter 10, verses 42-43 Do I give you but clear evidence from the clear verses of the great Qur'an? Whoever wills, let them believe. In whoever wills, let them disbelieve. And the true promise is approaching. So who could spare the torment from those who spread rumors and turn people away from following the caller of truth from their Lord? Through the power of knowledge of his verses in the great Qur'an. So woe to them from the torment of an awful day. Peace be upon the messengers, and praise to Allah, Lord of the words. The Caliph and servant of Allah on the words, Imam Mahdi Nasir Muhammad al-Yamani. Thank you very much for watching and have a great day.